I mean, can you imagine going to a dentist and one week the dentist knows what to do and the next week you walk in and he says, geez, I don't know about this drill, <laughs> right? I don't know any musicians who have hit or miss technique, dancers, architects, but I know a lot of actors who don't know what they're doing. They either find it or they don't find it, but they don't have a reliable approach unless they've been in the business a long time for how to turn every script they get into behavior. crossover with probably every one of these high achieving guests is it's it's the the preparation and and setting yourself up for success how do you convey that message to a young actor who's coming in and they're, they're saying oh I, I I want I want all of these things but where do you start the first thing I ask anybody I work with or meet who wants to work is what are your goals I try to get them to I want to be the best actor I can be. That's the North Star that interests me. I don't want to be better than Clint Eastwood or, or Meryl Streep. I want to be the best. There's no competition. There's only one me. I want to be the best actor I can be. We train actors in two years. That to me is extraordinary because there's no one who plays the violin who can do that in two years or ballet. But because innately as human beings, we're storytellers already from the beginning and we see and know how to mimic stuff if we have that interest, getting the skills can actually be given in two years. Then it takes 20 years to 10,000 hours to like start to master it. And so it's in the conversation that people self-select, that they see that I'm all in and most really good actors are obsessed and you can't be a dabbler, you can't be a dilettante, you know, and you have to know why you want to do it and really love it, you know, and if you do, you're going to do it. And even then, and they come and study here, and I'm not cheap, I'm not the most expensive, but it's not cheap here. Yeah. You still see people who are very self-sabotaging. You know, they just don't, they don't rise up. What do you see as the, the, the big barrier for a lot of, if you, if you had to pick one thing that was fear. kind of... Fear. Fear. Fear, a conditioned fear, a habitual fear, a fear that's been in them forever, maybe that they learned from their parents, you know, and, and um, I would say more fear of success in some level than fear of failure. You know, what would it be like if I actually became the very best version of myself? That's not easy. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility. A huge amount of responsibility and a huge amount of work. Yeah. You know, because that's what we're makers, actors, like dancers make dancers and painters make paintings. We make behavior. And we make behavior that honors the script. So the script is kind of code shorthand for saying the, the writer sees behavior. And we just get it freeze dried with the lines and maybe stage directions. And we have to turn that into, OK, well, who am I? Who's the character? What am I doing? What do I want? What are my relationships? What are the given circumstances? And how do I start to get that into my instrument, body, soul? so that it feels like it was written for me, like it's a custom-made suit, that it's as natural as just talking to you, except I'm not me, I'm somebody else. Yeah. The work, Meisner defines the work as doing truthfully under imaginary circumstances. And that repetition work then gets into crafting, where we start to work with objects and doing things, and then the objects have meaning to us, and we go, oh, I'm starting to come to life here. And then it expands into a whole toolkit that's like pages long, but the main thing is it has rigor in it. I think that's a thing that your guests all share in terms of this hard work is discipline and rigor. So it makes you responsible and it really puts into the body through practice, 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 this thing that the work eventually becomes inevitable. It's not easy. That was kind of my next question. I was gonna say, what, do you notice that there's something different in the students you work with or the clients, I don't know what word you use, that are really on top of the game, is that the, the defining factor, is that commitment in a, right. in a way? Because what comes first is the love of the art form. Yeah. Like you have to love acting. If you yeah. don't love telling stories, if you don't love transformation, if you don't love um, learning lines, it's gonna be hard to be an actor. 
because that's what sustains you is like we get to tell these cool stories then the question is okay so what do i need to do it well and then the all in is it's a, it's a labor of love it's joyful mm -hmm.